I'm looking for a Jedi. A girl has been kidnapped. I need your help to find her. I am Haja Estri. I help all who are in need. In return, I ask only a few credits. How much? 500 to locate the girl. I mean, that's a really good deal. What do you know of the Force? Just that there's a lot of remotes. Oh, okay. A rat who preys on weakness. But in my experience, rats know more about the sewers. You're gonna help me find this girl I'm looking for. Yeah, I'll do it. Can I trust you? Definitely. Hey, what are you doing back here? Oh, I seem to have lost my way. Get back to work. <laughs> Where's the girl? I didn't know the Jedi could bleed. I figured you'd be smarter than to risk everything for a spoiled little. <laughs> Inquisitor. Should be here soon. Where is the girl? She must be close. Doesn't matter. You're not getting out of here. Are you all right? You really are a Jedi. We need to move. Her sister! I can stand the reek of your ambition no longer. Move aside. Watch and learn. Really think I'd let you take all the credit? Lord Vader will be pleased. You didn't know. He's alive, Obi-Wan. Anakin Skywalker is Alive. He's been looking for you for a long time. Can't bring all we want! You can't escape him! We will find you! What is that? Are you okay? Anakin. So now the episode 2 of Obi-Wan Kenobi is the episode where we expect some things and the show probably delivered those things and there are a lot of twists and turns in the episode 2 and we get to see at the end of the episode that how Darth Vader is still alive or Anakin is still alive and how uh, Obi-Wan finds about it and what is his reaction. So the episode 3 will be pretty good I believe and we should stick to the series.